everyone, I'm here with another video about the stationary selection and this is one of their subscription boxes I was able to get my hands on. Um, there's usually a waitlist uh, since they are always sold out. So if you visit their website, you might be able to get your hands on one. Uh, usually at the beginning of the month, Mitz, uh, the gal who curates these boxes in Japan, she will send out an Instagram notice to tell you when she's going to make them available. So here we go. I'm going to unopen the box now. And inside each box, there's usually a piece of paper that has a list of the things in it. And as you can see, the first thing is a marsh sticker, sticker marsh sheet. Not sure how to pronounce it, but these stickers are really nice. They're by Midori and they are very thin. Um, they say they are reapplicable, so you can peel them on and off like washi tape. Uh, I don't usually do that with my stickers, but it's nice that you have that option too. And in that, this other thing is a postcard that Mitz herself drew, and it is very beautiful. It's like a brush pen calligraphy type of image. And it's a, I believe, an A4 size, postcard size. It's really pretty and really smooth. So that's another thing that's included in this box. And the next thing that I was really excited about was this letter set called the Forest Letter Set by Nishi Shuku, who is uh, an artist that I really like. Um, and what's really nice about this letter set is that you get more than just a few pieces of paper. You get uh, envelopes and the papers to go with it and the designs are always so pretty um, with this artist uh, so here we go opening it up and you can see it's a cream colored paper it's very smooth and inside the set are four envelopes with the same design and then as for the papers there are ten sheets uh, with the same design as well and what I really like about Japanese letter sets are that they include this, this writing board or this template and a line guide so that you can make sure you write straight, <laughs> So, which I can always appreciate. So that's included in the letter set and that was really nice. So that is the Nishishuku letter set and this item is the MD Notebook Diary in A5. Actually, this is a big ticket item. I really wanted one of these for the next year, but I didn't get it because I was going to use my Hobonichi. Um, but now that I have this, I think, no, I am going to use it because, oh, it, it's so nice. If you haven't used one of these before, I say get your hands on one, even if it's just the blank notebook. There's so many different kinds. Um, they all have a similar style with the paraffin paper that covers the notebook and the exposed spine, which is so, so beautiful. All their notebooks are thread bound, so they lie flat. And as you can see here, the spine of the book, it's textured. <clears throat> and on the end, it says to be continued 2020, which I thought was really nice. <clears throat> Uh, place to put your info and the front. Um, I just really like the simplicity of this notebook. Um, it's minimalistic. It's the paper is smooth, bleed resistant, doesn't feather. You can use fountain pen on it, uh, and it's just it just makes writing such an enjoyable experience. So. As you can see, it says story of 2019, and it will show the 2019-2020 calendars. So that's kind of a nice handy reference. And this is the main function of the notebook. So it starts in December 2018, and it goes all the way through 2019, up to January 2020, I believe. And toward the back, you'll see that there's these blank note, no notebook paper, like gridded paper that you can journal, write down your thoughts and ideas. <clears throat> so it's a really, 
really functional notebook. And what's really nice is that there's a lot of room to write. As you can see, that it doesn't take up the whole space of the sheet. So there's a lot of room to write. Uh, it starts from Monday and ends on Sunday. And you can see that a lot of times people will decorate this, that area with stickers or washi tape or they will leave it blank and it still looks really pretty. It's whatever you want to do and if you want to see ideas um, or some inspiration, I would just Instagram Mid Midori Diary and you'll see lots of beautiful photos of how people use their books. So I'm really excited to use this book. Um, yeah, as you can see, like the most of the book is gridded notebook and the beginning is just the monthly calendars. So there's a lot of room and flexibility to use the book however you want. And you can see the grid the gridded lines are easy on the eyes, not too not too bold, not too dark. So I'm really excited to use this book. Thank you, Mitz, for adding this to the to the stationery box this month. And the next item is this washi tape by Papier Platz. It's um, by the textile artist Noko Guo, and this one is called Stone Wall. And I actually wanted to buy this from another store, but since this was in the in the box, I decided I was not going to buy it. So I took it out out of my shopping cart. But um, it's just so beautiful, the geometric shapes, the colors. I feel like you can use this design for any season and I really like the little dots, the combination of the dots and the, the shapes. It's just really pleasant and pleasing to the eyes, so uh, I'm so glad that this was included. The next item is a Sarasa Mark On pen in 0.4 millimeters. And the nice thing about this pen, it says, is that it is smudge resistant to highlighter. So I'm going to test it out for you on some paper and we'll see for ourselves if that is true because usually I have always experienced some smudging so um, the Zebra Sarasa pens have this really nice rubber grip to it and this one is no exception they all have that similar design um, so here I am I waited a bit I waited about I would say five or six seconds because I was I didn't want to be disappointed but then I thought you know I really should just try to highlight as fast as I can, right? So I'm testing it again and I'm gonna use the mild liner right right away and we'll see if it smudges. And to my surprise, it did not smudge. And I was really impressed by that. So this is definitely a great pen. If you know, if you're a student or you know that you highlight a lot or you do that type of work, it's a great pen to have. And the next thing is a Penco clip, and this is pretty much uh, a pretty heavy-duty bulldog clip. It's like a jumbo bulldog clip. I've seen this a lot too in Instagram photos. It holds your notebooks or your journals open, so I'm going to try to test it out. But my, my, my notebook is actually quite big, so I'm not sure if it will fit. But it actually did a pretty good job holding it open. Um, I have, I'm toward the end of my papers there, so it's quite chunky. Um, but uh, it, it is pretty sturdy, so I'm going to try it on the MD notebook. And it does do a good job. And what's nice is that it doesn't leave any indentations. Uh, it didn't make any indentations on my leather cover on my traveler's notebook, and it didn't leave any on the MD diary. The next item is a Petite Deco Rush. This is basically like a washi tape combined with a tape runner. And if you've ever used a tape runner before to um, put adhesive on backs of paper, it's a similar concept. You, it's the same type of form, um, and you just run it with light pressure, and you'll see the design right there. It's this little watercolor dot. I think it's really pretty. So here I am comparing it to my Tombow tape runner and you can see how small it is it's quite small and I don't believe these are refillable I'm not sure um, I think once it's done it's done but maybe someone can tell me if that's true if you can refill them uh, here I am I'm just gonna test it out in my little washi tape catalog so it's actually quite easy to use it's not too difficult 
actually, I felt like it was a lot easier to use than my tape runner. Uh, and you just release when you don't want to use anymore. And it's not sticky. It's not, there's no peeled edges or anything. It was actually quite nice to use. Uh, here you can see close up, really pretty. You can see the faint edges of the tape, but it is quite smooth. And I'm going to try testing out if you can ride over it and you can, and it's nice. It works out pretty well. So if you wanted to write like numbers in the little circles, like for dates or anything like that, that would be a good idea too. So the last item is this really pretty Awagami paper collection. Uh, these are washi papers and that you can use for origami or for food, like a food coaster or wrapping gifts, chocolates or candies, which I thought was really cute. I wouldn't have never thought of that. Um, these are produced with natural fibers and they're really light to the touch, almost feathery, like uh, bamboo, hemp, things like that. And you can see how pretty the designs are and some of the papers have are smooth and some have texture so that's pretty neat uh, not a lot of the papers have a texture though you can see some of the you'll you'll notice some of the textures um, one should be coming up right now like that purple one you can see there's some textures in it but if you take a smooth one and you kind of crumple it up you could probably get a similar texture but yeah, those are quite special papers. Uh, you could probably rip them and use pieces of them in your notebook, which is what I'm planning to do. Probably not so much wrapping. So that is the stationery selection October box. And I'm just really glad that I was able to get on that list so I can get them every month. Uh, I live in California, so the, it, it arrived around the 15th, so it takes about 15 days from Japan, um, but it is definitely worth it. don't find a lot of subscription services where I'm completely happy with 100% of the items, um, other than the sticky kit Japan, which are you've seen on some of my other videos. So what I really like about this box is that every single item that I have seen on YouTube or other people's Instagrams, I have really liked those items and knew I would be able to use those items and I've been kind of envious of those items and I'm really happy with every item that she puts in these boxes. She doesn't put in items that I feel like are filler material. Every item is high quality uh, Japanese stationery items that are really difficult to find and you know here where I'm from the United States so I really am glad that I'm able to get my hands on one of these boxes and if you want to get your hands on one what I would suggest is following the stationery selection on Instagram and she will post when she's going to have um, when she's going to have them for sale uh, usually at the start of each month um, but it will be Japanese time so you'll have to kind of figure out when to set your alarm to you know to put in your order so thank you for watching and I hope you like this video and hopefully we'll be able to do more thank you bye